on Chick Smooth. My man Chick Smooth is in here. Chick, I want to be on Chick Smooth shit tomorrow. Um, being honest, I feel like a lot of this has been discussed already. Um, as far as um, I just feel like this this is all going back again in a circle. Like, I know that you did send money to Inglewood Barbie when we asked you to, and at one point she told me you ain't been texting her back. That's one. Um, number two, when we were in this conversation last time, I specifically said. If you're a blogger and you're going to just report news, report it. But putting your own personal, um, saying how you feel about it personally just ain't really your place because you don't know no BDs. You don't know no GDs. You don't know how these people communicate. You don't know how they feel. And I'm not going to get on here and just bash you and say that you're wrong or some shit like that. I already said this. Personally, you can hit, we could talk after this because I, I, I don't really want to sitting here. I've been sitting here for damn near an hour. Like, if you, like you said, there's a conversation that to be had. I ain't got to yell at you. I ain't got to scream at you. I'm another Chicago socialite, whatever you want to call it. Like, I know Tay. I know Chance. I know every other rapper that you're talking about that you say have contacted you like. But at the end of the day, bro, it's just you don't understand that there's a lot of pain behind that shit. Like, shit goes wrong every day. And here you come with your personal opinion again. And that personal opinion led to somebody making a comment, and then that comment led to somebody making another comment. Now niggas isn't to it. And you might think that you laughing, you know, may not be the the um, the cause of it. I'm not saying that you're the cause of people getting killed, or you have been the the gas on a couple flames when shit get bad. You have unknowingly put targets on people back. You have unknowingly Preach. made people a hot person, but you don't know that because you're not from here. You're not going hit up you're not gonna hit up inglewood barbie and be like hey you know how should i talk about this you're not gonna hit up me or you're not gonna like and i'm not even saying that you're supposed to i'm not saying that you how do i want to say this um i'm not saying that you're supposed to take down your channel or stop talking about chicago because unfortunately big dog you are the first person that people go to when shit goes wrong um you one of the top five at least you are one of you are academics you are one of say cheese you are one of ball alert you are one of what's the um no no i ain't gonna say that you are one of like the the major three big media outlets that reports on this stuff but you have to wear you have to wear the mask that you wear and a crown on your head whatever the fuck you want to call it you have to wear it and understand that sometimes you don't know that something as small as a comment could be the seed to a tree to get somebody killed. I know that was like a crazy analogy, but it don't take nothing but one comment. It don't take nothing but one like. It won't take. No, it don't take nothing but one joke because it's not funny to people. It's not funny to us. We don't like like you said that little white kid in Montana that know Muwap, that know this person, that know that person, that know Dirk. Like, bro, unfortunately, you even if you're not the first, you're the one that excelled the most. So who the hell, who the hell else are you supposed to point the finger at? But you know, that's my two cents on it. I'm not going to sit up here for another two hours and go back and forth about, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You said there's a conversation to be had. You ain't text Inglewood Barbie back. Hit my phone. I'm the only DJ Oreo that's verified. You're more than welcome. I don't have no problem talking to you about whatever it is that you need to talk about because this is the second time that this shit has happened. And it's just like, bro, like, it's not a game. People are dying. People are going to jail. Like downtown Gold Coast District is like we we were voted the number two most beautiful city in the world. Niggas got killed down there. So no, we're not an average city. We're not Florida. We're not Detroit. We're not New Orleans. We're not Baltimore. We're not the streets of Louisiana. We're not Cali. We're not the Bay. We're not New York. We're not Brooklyn. Like I haven't seen. I don't see nothing else about what be going on in New York. I don't see nothing about what the, be going on in the borough. Shit about I don't. DC though. That that he just started doing that. Like, I don't know, but that's my two cents on it. Um, Or what I could definitely say, and I, and I still feel, I feel like you're still talking about literally a two to three year period that literally was eight years ago. And uh, like, I can't believe that yesterday me doing a video on something that that's not even just Chicago related. If they, if, if, if I, I'm probably going to do a video on, 
on the motherfucking nigga who's acting acting crazy in court who allegedly killed Pops, uh, not Pop Smoke, sorry, um, Nipsey Hussle. You know, it's like, again, I cover rap and hip hop. You know, like I haven't really taken a liking in or like how, you, how you're describing it in on a Chicago level for a long time. So like when, when, when I hear what you're saying and then, then, you, then you jump in and you're saying, well, you're doing it again, how? You know, I brought up yesterday, which I was trying to encourage conversation because I think yesterday it was, it's, it was a national moment. And it, 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 there's a national moment of where, again, a rapper's murderers get arrested. Everybody's gonna talk about it. I then throw the question to the people who have always just blamed all the genocide going on on the media. I ask you guys what you're thinking. It's not, it's not inciting, it's none of that. It's actually saying the whole conversation I was even trying to get to the first time, I, 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 took, I took accountability of certain things, but I always felt that there was a lack of accountability on the other side. Yesterday was the it was the peak of the moment of to say, hey, listen, what about this situation where if you just have like two eyes and a brain, you could see how maybe rap songs going back and forth. People who don't necessarily need to be continuing, you know, street violence in their music who are signed to billion dollar companies, as I keep trying to say, that's getting pumped and pushed by the machine. Then you have these things happening. You have the, you have the mothers of deceased uh, of deceased sons and deceased rappers crying out uh, 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 um, um, to the whole hip hop community. Hey, cause y'all whatever. And I know y'all want to say like I think one of the main things it, when I even hear Oreo speak uh, on the whole thing, he's like, "Yo, well, like this is this is this is like our shit that, and unfortunately or or whatever you want to might think about it, that that's our reality. Ain't none of what." It shouldn't be that much of a matter to y'all, but it is. It's in music. These are rappers. Like, it's, it, listen, I'm not like, like you know. Well, I hope there isn't a like a murder that happened within the last week in Chicago, but there probably was. I'm not going to go f figure out that story and create this whole thing. No, it if it doesn't have nothing to do with music, it and and that's where when when it came to the Warren Chirac, which again I'm saying, this is. I haven't done the Warren Chirac literally in like six, seven years, so I'm really con confused what you're talking about. I felt I kind of veered off the path at times with just covering the hot musicians. You get me? This is something that everybody's gonna talk about. It's a rapper who, who, who got killed. A rapper who some people thought was gonna blow. A rapper who also was very uh, um, um, controversial based on even the music he put out himself. When that happens, where where people who allegedly was involved in this murder are caught, they're going to be a discussion. I don't think that's predatorial. Some anybody in the world is going to talk about that. You get me? I I just hold that up to say we had very public discussions about what you felt academics' influence was when it came to um, the Warren Chirac and encouraging and inciting people to blah blah. I wanted the accountability and I wanted to let, if we kept that conversation public, let's keep this one public. And I want to put it to, to you or anybody in Chicago. So what do you say to the mother who literally been begging superstar rappers, please stop dissing my son in music. Hey, th like th the people who are victims of this. And again, uh, y'all are right. I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not really, I'm not in, in, intertwined in all that, but it has to do with musicians. There's millions of dollars being made of it. Listen, I think I even told y'all last time, I don't even think I made $150,000 of, of, of um, whatever. Again, and you could say who could profit off whatever whatever the case is, cool, whatever the case is, right? But at a point, I, I, I try to take some accountability and change and veer off to you know doing other things, right? Again, me covering it is not the same. If you thought me doing a video yesterday is the same as the Warren Chirac, I, like, I, I feel like there's probably some other agenda which I can't ever help you with, you know? But like, you, you don't see me like, like go back and y'all can play the video here. I'm not in there and be like, oh my God, this. No, I, I literally reported the facts. There is some commentary on it. And you know, obviously like, like for example, one of the main things I was like, why the fuck is the feds involved in, 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 a, in what, would likely be a local, um, a, a local uh, a case, right? But what I also wanted to do is to put that mirror up of reflection, because for everybody who was talking about 
you are doing this, you're doing this, you're doing this. Those people are quiet or they want to talk offline about when the actual feds say, we got it from a song, we've seen it on the social media, we've just seen it from these guys. We're not going to academics. To see. We, so, so again, I, I know sometimes that get lumped in with the entire situation of violence in, in, in Chicago. And again, for that, I've always apologized if I've went off the path of music, but I cover musicians and that's my livelihood. That's my job. I cover musicians who, I, I cover musicians who just sing, love songs to bitches. I cover musicians who just rap about clothes, clothes and fashion and flexing. Cover rappers who be beefing with each other. Again, I, I try to do it all when it comes to music. So when I cover the police, and again, when it comes to the police arresting uh, individuals that was involved in a rapper's death, that can't, you can't, there's no way you could be like, yo, act, you doing the same thing with Chicago. How, brother? Yo, so, 